All right, guys, well, I am back today with another really cool revolver video, and this is the SR38, chambered in 38 and 357 Magnum. Now, this is made by Sazamaz, and we'll get into more detail about Sazamaz in the full review. This is also imported by TR Imports, and I'll tell you a little bit of backstory on them. But I've been shooting this guy for about four weeks now, and this is an impressive high value pistol, especially for all the features you get chambered in 357 Magnum. Let's head down to the range one more time, run a bunch of rounds through this, come back and do the full review of this pistol. Well guys, I am back from the range and this revolver ran great again. And I want to give a huge shout out to American Pawn and Gun for donating the 357 Magnum to help make this video. Without their support, it would be really hard to dump as many rounds as we did through this pistol to prove it out and make sure it was 100% reliable and then it functioned correctly. So if you're ever in Monroe, North Carolina, swing by American Pawn and Gun. They've got a great selection of new and used firearms. I've got it packed up in its original configuration on how it ships from the importers. So I want to do a little unboxing. It comes in this nice hard plastic case with this foam cutout. It also comes with a really nice owner's manual, except for a slight language barrier maybe. A uh, semi-automatic revolver. That's, that's pretty interesting. Um, Look at through the owner's manual. It looks really nice. It comes with this cleaning brush and a rod to hold a cleaning swab and then the pistol itself. Let's make sure it's unloaded and then we'll talk a little bit about the history of Sazamaz. A little while back I did a review on the CM9 Gen 2 made by Sazamaz imported by TR Imports and in that review I did a lot of studying to figure out the history of Sazamaz to see if they were any count or if they had any reputation on the market and I found out a lot. They've actually been in business since 1880 and they operate one of Europe's largest firearms factories at 54,000 square feet. They're also a major supplier of the NATO military, including US forces. So when you're buying a Sarsamars pistol, you're buying a quality reputation and a long history. Now TR Imports actually imports this pistols and they've, they've taken over a lot of the Turkish imports and they're bringing some new and cool pistols to the market, including this SR38. So that's a little bit of the backstory about how it came to this country. So let's talk about the pistol in general. It's a six shot 357 Magnum slash 38 special. And this gun is very heavy. That's one of the first things I noticed when I pulled it out of the box. It's got some weight to it. But I like that out of a four inch barrel 357 Magnum. I envision somebody using this for like a camp gun or a truck gun or a hunting pistol, especially chambered in that 357 Magnum. You can take large game. So all the weight can be a negative to some who are gonna carry this, but it also includes a lot of positives. The fact that you can get quick, rapid follow-up shots with 357 Magnum is a plus. 
and the fact that you only have six shots, it is really nice to have kind of a heavier revolver, so those six shots count. Those follow-up shots are going to be much easier with the heft of this pistol. The next thing I noticed right off the bat while holding the pistol is the grips themselves. They're definitely a rubberized feel. They lock into place solid. Now I've done reviews on budget 357 Magnums in the past and they work really well, but I've had had some grips, grip screws come loose. And this one is locked up solid through the entire review, so a very nice grip. It looks a little funky. But in fact, it's very ergonomic. Your fingers ride right into place and it allows you to get the proper grip on the pistol. It is very comfortable. It doesn't have a fully exposed metal back strap. Down here is a little bit rubberized. But overall, it transfers the force and energy of the 357 Magnum perfectly through your hands. This is not a heavy recoiling gun at all. When you're shooting 38 Special, you don't even feel this gun. It is literally like shooting a 22. When you step up to the higher power 357 Magnum rounds, this is incredibly manageable and very controllable. I have like an eight inch Smith gun and both of these guns recoil about the same and this one only has a four inch barrel. And I believe that's a lot due to the weight of the pistol and the way the grip contours your hands. When I first got it out of the box, everything was a little stiff. The cylinder was a little bit difficult to pull in and out, but after about 100 rounds of 357 Magnum and 100 rounds of 38 Special, this thing is smoothed up nicely. All the controls are easy to operate. The texturing right here on the cylinder release is very aggressive, and you definitely can easily actuate that. Again, ejecting the rounds is very simple. The 38 Specials fall right out of there no problem, but I tend to slap it a little bit harder with the 357 Magnum shells. They're a little bit longer and they tend to kind of get gummed up around this grip area. But if you give it a good slap, they all fall out the first try. So overall, very impressed with the operations of this pistol. Let's take a look at the hammer. It's got some texturing on here, and again, it was a little stiff right out of the box, but it's smoothed up over time. So I really like the fact that that texturing allows you to get a good grip on that single action hammer to pull it back to make those more accurate shots. We'll take a look at the trigger in a minute. Let's talk quickly about the sights. They're a blacked out front and a blacked out rear and they're adjustable for windage and elevation. So nothing super special other than they're a fairly good set of sights that you can adjust and that's another cool option on this high value pistol. Now let's talk about the trigger. I generally shoot revolvers like this with longer barrels in single action mode only. It's kind of my go-to. But for some reason with this revolver, it just screams to be shot in double action mode. Almost like a combat pistol. Like you're truly going to use this to defend your life. You just, for some reason, I want to just pull this trigger in double action mode. It's incredibly smooth and just easy to control. Now I love the fact, again, I'm gonna bring up the weight. You know, to some this is gonna be a huge negative, but for me, it's a big positive. Because with that smooth double action trigger pull, the weight of the pistol, you can dump six 357 Magnum rounds on target incredibly fast. Now again, right out of the box, the trigger is very stiff. But after about 200 rounds, and probably about 150 rounds of dry firing, you can really pull that trigger fast and it is very smooth. Let's try to show you close up. It almost stages itself right about there and then has a break. Now let's take a look at the single action mode. So zero creep and a crisp break. Now this trigger is a little bit stiffer than some other 357 Magnum revolvers. But it is by far, surprisingly, one of the crispest triggers I felt on a revolver. There is like zero take up, zero play. It just breaks clean every time, even though it's a little bit stiffer than some others. Now let's talk about function and reliability, because if this thing didn't work, it's no count no matter how many features it has. And it worked great. I didn't have a single problem, stoppage, light hammer strike, anything like that. It just worked overall. I shot three different types of 357 Magnums, and they all worked great. And that's why I like American Pot and Gun support. They give me a variety of ammo to try in the pistol. Now, 38 Special was a dream to shoot. You could plink all day at the range with this, and it just worked really well. Now, I did encounter one problem at the range that I want to bring up because the loading gate and the cylinder were getting a little stiff, inserting it in and pulling it out after about 100 rounds of 357 Magnum. So I looked at the pistol, and in fact, let's see if I can do it. This, 
rod right here walked loose. And when it walked loose, I'll show you guys right here, you, you can't insert it or pull it out. So I tightened it back up and it wasn't a problem anymore. So let's tighten that back up one more time. Make sure it's really in there solid. And then you can see it's smooth again. So that is something to note on this revolver. This came loose after about 100 rounds of 357 Magnum. Now it's not a big deal, but it's something to note. Maybe a drop of blue Loctite. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pull it back out, but something to watch on this pistol and I'll keep you updated in the future. But overall, everything held up really nice. Now I keep saying budget and high value, but let's talk about the price point. This pistol retails for $480 on the TR Imports website, which is a really good deal in my opinion. But if you go on Slick Guns and Google it, you can find that this SR38 can be found on various websites anywhere from like $350 to $400. So a sub $400 revolver packed with a ton of features chambered in 357 Magnum. So I hope this review gives you another high value option in the world of revolvers, especially a 357 Magnum revolver. I wanna give a huge shout out to TR Imports for supporting the channel. When I reached out to them earlier about reviewing one of their CM9 Gen 2s, they said sure, but also take a look at some of our other pistols. So these guys were nice enough to send it out for us to try, and I am thoroughly impressed. Run a bunch of rounds through it, and it seems to be doing good. So I hope you guys liked the video. And if you have, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.